Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. I'm going to show you how to use all of the functions on our new VertDesk V3 app. One of the exciting features is the ability to adjust your desk with voice control. To start, open the Apple App Store. In the search bar, search VertDesk. Next, download the VertDesk app. Select Allow Notifications for full app functionality. Turn on Voice Control. Hit OK to turn on Voice Control with Siri. Activate the One Touch function. This allows you to easily operate your desk. Read and agree to the terms and conditions before continuing. Activity Assistant is optional. Feel free to hit Continue since we will be covering this option later on. Next, you will connect your desk. Match the number from the control box to the number under the visible desks. Select your desk and turn on Auto Connect. To rename your desk, from the app homepage, go into the main menu, and then click Desk Settings. Select Table Name. Here you can personalize the name of your desk. With the VertDesk app, you no longer need a button attached to your desk. Simply use the arrows to move your desk up and down. There are four available preset heights to set up your desk. Each of them allow you to use voice control. I set up my number one for sitting height. Select the edit button. I will name number one, sit down. Use the arrows to set the height of your sitting position. Then hit save. I will now add the voice command. We recommend you use the same command that you use to name your preset so it is easy to remember, though you are free to customize your voice command. Type out your voice command. Mine will be sit down. If you would prefer to dictate the command, select the microphone in the bottom corner of your keyboard and say your command, sit down. Then hit Add to Siri. I will make my number two preset my standing height. My voice command will be stand up, so it is easy to remember. Type out your voice command and then hit Add to Siri. The remaining presets can be used for things such as an active chair, a different user, or whatever else you would like to choose. I will use number 3 for my active chair. At the bottom of the presets, you will see the stop button. This is used to immediately stop your desk from moving. To edit the voice command, hit the edit button. We recommend you use stop for this command. Type out stop and then hit add to Siri. I will now show you how all of these presets work. Hey Siri, stand up. Okay, requested. I can also hit sit down to move my desk to the sitting height. Hey Siri, stop. Okay, requested. In the settings, you will find collision sensitivity. All VertDesk frames come standard with the GyroSense technology which is able to detect soft collisions. The collision sensitivity is a safety feature. We recommend you keep the desk setting set at standard sensitivity. We advise that you only change this setting if you are directed to do so by a BTOD representative. Also in desk settings is the container stop function. The VertDesk container and shelf stop system allows you to customize your desk's height range. Once programmed, your desk will only operate within your custom height range. You might end up using this function if you plan on putting a file cabinet below your desk or shelving above your desk that you don't want your desk to accidentally run into. To change your highest height, select Upper Stop. Use the arrows to set the highest height range. Then hit Save. To change your lowest height, Select Lower Stop. 
Use the arrows again to move to your lowest height setting. Then hit save. If at any time you want to remove these settings, select either the upper or lower stop and then hit the reset button. Be sure to not press the save button as this button is only used to save your heights. You will also find desk reset in your settings. The reasons you may need to do a reset is if your table only goes down or if you lose power. If you have a desk that has more than two legs, the reason could also be that the legs are uneven. To perform a reset, press and hold the reset button until your desk reaches its lowest height. Once at this point, the desk will move up slightly indicating that the desk has been reset. Your desk should now operate at its normal speed. In the settings, you will also find Activity Assistant. In this setting, you are able to configure your sitting and standing notifications. These will just be notifications to remind you when to sit and stand throughout the day. I will set my sitting time for 50 minutes and standing time for 10 minutes. This will be a good setup to get me standing more, but feel free to adjust how you feel. Now activate the Activity Assistant. You are also able to activate the Activity Assistant from the main screen. This is what a notification will look like for the Activity Assistant. Hey Siri, stand up. Okay, requested. In the settings, you will find that you can change the language, view our help page, and also view our privacy policy. With the new software update of iOS 13, there is a new app called Shortcuts. This app helps you easily manage your saved shortcuts with Siri. When you select the Shortcuts app, you will see all of your saved voice commands. You are also able to add these shortcuts to your home screen so you can easily access them. Select the ellipses in the upper right hand corner of the command. Select the ellipses again. Here you can select Add to Home Screen and manage other settings. When you go back to your home screen, you will now see that the shortcut has been added. You can now easily move your desk with this new shortcut on your home screen. From the Shortcut app homepage, you are able to delete any saved voice commands you have. Select Edit in the upper left hand corner. Then choose which shortcuts you would like to delete. Then hit done. I hope this helped answer any questions that you had about the Vert Desk app. If you have any other further questions, feel free to contact us or visit us at the Learning Center at btod.com. Thank you for watching.